I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but I know someone, let's say a friend of mine, who spent $400 on skincare products that they didn't want because an attractive salesperson persuaded them to buy it and they just couldn't say no to them. So how does this happen? Well, we often think of ourselves as perfectly rational and that we're only going to be persuaded by a well thought out message. It turns out that we are persuaded by a range of factors in addition to the content of the persuasive messages that we receive. A collection of studies, sometimes referred to as the Yale studies because they were conducted at Yale University in the United States of America, examined how four types of factors might influence us. Those studies looked at audience-related factors such as self-esteem, gender and age, channel-related factors such as whether the message is given in print form, in person or via video, communicator-related factors such as how attractive the communicator is and whether the communicator is credible or not. And finally, message-related factors, such as whether the message uses fear or not. We will focus on the last two, message-related and communicator-related factors.